My name is Marina Alex and I am uh, I'm from sales world. More than 10 years, I worked as a head of sales department in Big Bang before Agile career. And um, I honestly, I love sales. And um, last six years, I help different companies around the world and I help them to um, apply Agile in sales. I'm creator of Sway System. This system helps to uh, apply Agile in sales. And in this slide, you see many numbers. Because salespeople, they speak in uh, numbers language. They usually use numbers when they explain something or sell something. That's why the first secret how to uh, inspire your sales to be agile, uh, uh, explore, uh, tell them by numbers. And today I tell you some numbers how agile increase sales. I'm going to tell you which difficulties could be in this journey. And maybe I will give you adv uh, a couple advice how inspire your sales to change. And my first question for our audience, how many people do we have today from sales? Please, if, you, if you're from sales department, please write uh, it in our chat. If you're from software or in different department, please type in our chat. Let's see who is our audience today. And I try to see the chat. Okay, and um, you know, I, okay, I, I can see the chat. Uh, Charles, could you help me? How many, uh, do we have some people from sales or uh, how many people do we have from IT? Could you help me with their chat? Charles? Yes, um, most of the people comes from IT. Mm -hmm. And we have this situation around the world because our IT created Agile almost 20 years ago. And Agile transformation in IT began many years before. And in sales, we're just in the beginning of this journey. And before I will um, explain how we apply Agile in sales, let's see how salespeople looks like. I'm going to show you a video. And please, after this video, uh, type in our chat, did you recognize your sales or maybe your sales department looks differently? Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> you think I'm with you? I am not with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray. And I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine? Yeah. You call yourself a salesman? Because the good news is you're fired. The bad news is you've got all you've got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Oh, have I got your attention now? Okay, did you recognize your sales or sales department in your company looks differently? This is typically sales department in many countries around the world. And we know that when we apply Agile in organization, even if we start from IT, we need uh, Agile, it's about mindset, it's about uh, communication with our customers, right? And even if we apply Agile in software only or in um, uh, different departments, we need apply Agile in sales because our sales people, they communicate with our customers. And I, uh, I've seen many situations when in organization just software department was i uh, what was agile and uh, salespeople did not and they had many miscommunication between each other because they had different mindset and i believe that when we start agile transformation we should invite sales department from the beginning and through my presentation i'm going to explain why 
But the question is, how we should change mindset of our salespeople? Like you see on the right picture, it's softwares, right? On the left pictures, it's sales or person from sales department who think just about money, who think just about KPIs and um, just to sell and forget. And the first step, uh, explain that agile, it's not just IT. Agile, it's mindset. It's how we are thinking. We could use different tools. We could use Scrum, Kanban, Sway, and different, different uh, tools and systems and frameworks. But the main idea to change mindset in whole organization, our business owners in our company should think uh, as an agile uh, mindset written, right? Our person who opened the door in our company and uh, security should think the same. And uh, the first thing, um, and I'm going to tell you through my uh, case study, how we apply Agile in, in the beginning. And this is story, just simple story, how um, one of the main story around the world. This is a um, story how we in, uh, apply Agile in sales and how we increase sales, how we apply more than one 1,500 innovations in company, how we create competitive adventures uh, for company, and how we help to be sales uh, and uh, different departments as a one team. How we begin? A couple uh, words about this company. This company uh, it was about 20 years in the market, 1,300 people, and they produced and sell ceramic tiles. And when we begin, our sales department did not achieve their sales goals. They did not communicate with different departments. Honestly, they had many conflicts with different departments. And it was classic sales department, which you've seen a couple of minutes ago in the video. And the story began uh, when business owner of this company one day found an, an amazing book about Scrum, and he read this uh, book and decided to apply Scrum in sales. He had this uh, maybe crazy idea on the uh, right. And he found me and he told me, Marina, uh, I have five, diff uh, five big sales department and I believe that we need to apply Scrum and change their mindset because uh, I, and he told me that he had a great experience how Scrum works in his uh, software department. And he decided to apply Scrum in sales as well. And but we apply uh, Sway, say, uh, Sway system. Sway system, it's adapt Scrum for sales, for business. For example, now you see our backlog. This is our sales backlog in our, in our uh, Sway guide, in our Sway system. In, and uh, here you see that our salespeople, they think not only about numbers, for sure they will uh, think about numbers because it's their nature. But at the same time, they think about uh, value proposition for customers. They think about innovations. You know how difficult for salespeople apply new uh, IT devices, right? And here in our sales backlog, they have each three months different tasks, how to apply innovations, how to make our customers happy. Um, and it's uh, our backlog. And the main difference between Scrum and Sway is that in Scrum, you have backlog of product. In sales, we don't have a product. We have business uh, tasks. We have business goals. We have customers. We have many things, uh, but it's not about product. That's why we have clear list, and uh, by the way, with clear prioritization uh, of business goals, which our team have to achieve during um, uh, several months. Okay, our sales team uh, used one week sprint and planning session in the beginning. Each Monday we had planning session. Every day they had uh, daily uh, 15 minutes. They had demo and retrospective. We applied roles. We had business owner, it's person with the vision, we had coach and we had team. And they had two different goals. On the one hand, it was financial goal. On the other hand, they had goal about customers and their satisfaction. And 
do you remember that it was bad situation in sales? They didn't achieve their sales targets. They um, their sales were less than forty three percent, and we start apply agile uh, sway system and a, a try apply agile mindset. And the question is, what do you think? What had happened? Please, I see our, our chat. Please write your answer. What do you think? What had happened with our sales department when we start apply Agile in their uh, department. Any ideas? Feel free to went down. Mm -hmm. What else? Maybe grow. Why not? <laughs> yes. You're right, Martin. In the beginning, um, we had uh, bad, uh, even worse situation with sales when we start apply agile uh, mindset. And you know, in each companies, in each countries, I have the same situation. For example, now I'm in the United States and we apply agile in big organization. We have many different sales department. And in each department, we have the same situation when our sales in the beginning uh, went down. And I explain why. You know, salespeople, they love quick decisions, quick tools. And they th always in the beginning, they think that Agile is something magic pill and uh, it will sell by themselves, uh, by itself. It will ch uh, change everything but by itself. But the problem is, maybe not problem, the goal. The goal is to change their mindset. And in the beginning, they when they understand that they should change themselves. And after that, when they realize that it's about a type of communication with each other, it's about type of communication with our customers, with uh, softwares, with different departments, when they realize that their sales grow. But it, it wasn't one problem, honestly. We had uh, different problems. The first thing, salespeople, they don't know how to work in the team. Usually they had um, individual KPIs. Uh, the main motivation was money. They never work as a team, especially in cross-functional team, because uh, in some organization, we create uh, cross-functional teams with softwares, salespeople, marketing in the beginning. And the first thing that they, they don't know how to work in, this, uh, in the team. Then management. They don't trust, they did not uh, give uh, freedom for making decisions for our uh, team because it's money. And each mistake, it's, uh, it could be uh, have price, right? That's why uh, business um, doesn't uh, be, uh, trust our uh, cross-functional self-organizing teams in sales. Then uh, they always focus on money only, not uh, uh, satisfaction of our customers. They always try to sell instead ask questions like uh, explore uh, our customers. And it was um, a very classic sales department. And you know, when we create common goal, do, do you remember uh, sales backlog? When we apply all meetings and retrospective and planning session and we help them to, uh, uh, became as a one team and create common goal and help them to be self-organized. And after that, their sales increase. And they, uh, uh, after um, several months, they had 127% uh, of sales. You know, I am from sales world. That's why I show you many numbers. And uh, they increased revenue. And uh, we had five cross, uh, we had, five self-organizing sales team in our company and they helped this company to survive and you know it was the same people it was the same budget it was um, the same company but they tripled their sales because they were as a one team they uh, their mindset was different their type of communication was different they think differently but it's not uh, only uh, about increased sales. Each week they had retrospective. Each week they create list of improvement because Agile, it's continuous improvement mindset, right? And they apply more than 300 
innovations in, in company per year. But we do remember we had five teams and totally they applied 1,500 innovations uh, for the company. And, you know, it's not about just money. It's not about uh, uh, innovations. It's about satisfaction of our customers. It's about um, um, communication with our customers when our cust when we understand what our customer need because we're not selling, we're asking, uh, asking them what they need. And then we apply innovations, we change our product, we communicate uh, as one big team in a whole organization and we apply changes and we create product which our customers really need and we do it faster than our competitors. And uh, it's about uh, satis uh, satisfaction of our customers. And I believe that this is future for our companies when they um, have very quick, very fast um, process from idea or from our um, uh, customer needs to realization and all organization do it together.